Hi, my name is Bill Gibson. I am the Certified Senior Master Service Tech here at uh, Mike Thompson's RV in Colton, California. And I have to say that I'm very proud to be part of a team of certified and master certified technicians. And I've been here for almost two decades. Um, today, we are going to show you a little bit about battery maintenance, hopefully to help you enjoy your RV and to be able to extend the life of your batteries and maybe save you a little bit of money. Uh, one thing before we start is that if we're working with batteries, there is acid involved. You do want to wear safety glasses. In case of a splash or something, you always want to be safe. All right, there are basically two different types of RV batteries we're going to show you today. They are both considered to be wet cells, so they do need maintenance. The first one is your 12 volt battery, which you'll be able to tell when you take the tops off, there'll be six cells. They hold two volts a piece. Uh, and then you have your six volt batteries, which will have three cells and are used in a combination of two to create 12 volts. In the top of the battery, there'll be a protrusion down into the battery cavity itself. Uh, when you're filling your battery, you want to go ahead and fill it right up to the bottom of the protrusion. You want to always use distilled water in your batteries. Uh, this is because regular tap water will have uh, chemicals, solids, and other minerals that you really don't want to introduce into your battery. You can use a battery filling device or you can use regular bottled water. Fill your batteries until full. And then make sure in the spec to see where they want them. And then put the lid back on them. And then this one here will be your six volt batteries. These screw off. And just the same as the other 12 volt batteries, you fill them up just to the edge of the protrusion into the battery case. You don't want to overfill. If you overfill with charging, this can cause overflow and will cause a real mess in your battery box. You don't want that. All right, well that's pretty much it for your battery maintenance. Uh, make sure when you're done, you want to put your caps on nice and tight, making sure they're good and sealed. And uh, thanks, and I hope you learned a little bit here. Uh, Come on in and see us if you need some service or you need some parts uh, and keep tuned for our next service tip.